Hi, this is John Carney, Product Engineer at Cadence, and this is a how-to video on bringing Eagle Designs into ORCAD X. It's a three-part process. You're going to want to translate the schematic design into ORCAD X Capture. You're going to want to translate the layout design into ORCAD X Presto Layout. And then you're going to synchronize those two translated databases by loading the netlist into the layout database. So first, starting from ORCAD X Capture, under the File menu, You'll have your import options and under import, you can choose Eagle Schematic Translator. The translator form is going to open and it's going to ask you for your eagle.sch file. This is the file format for Eagle Designs, so you can browse and select that file. Once you select that file, you can then specify where you want the output or CAD X Capture Design file to be put. I recommend putting that into an empty directory. Don't put it into a directory that already contains any other ORCAD capture design files. Then just hit the translate button. You'll be prompted to identify the type of project that you want to have for the translated design. This effectively is saying whether or not you want to run piece by on the translated design or not. Depending on the size of the design, the translation should run in less than a minute to maybe two to three minutes at most if it's a massive design. But as a result, you'll have your translated Eagle design in ORCAD X Capture. Next, you'll need to import the Eagle layout into ORCAD X Presto Layout. To do that, you'll open up ORCAD X Layout and under the file menu, create a new board. This is just going to create a new empty board database to load the Eagle design into. Then back under the file menu, choose Import Eagle PCB. You'll be prompted to browse to the Eagle PCB database, which is a .brd file. You'll select the .brd file from your working directory. Notice there might be a little bit of confusion here because Eagle and ORCAD both use .brd for the file extension. So your Windows operating system may recognize this as an Eagle database or a Cadence database. Just make sure you're pointing at the actual Eagle database here. Then you can hit translate. Once that translation is complete, you'll have the translated board file inside of ORCID X Presto. The last step is to load the netlist from the translated design into the layout database. This is going to ensure that the schematic and the PCB are now in sync and connected with each other. To do this, go back to ORCID X Capture and under the PCB menu, choose Update Layout. Here for the input board file, you're going to want to select the board file that you just translated into ORCAD Presto from Eagle. When you do this, notice that when we run the translation from Eagle, we put the word Allegro into the design file so that when you're looking at it, you can easily identify this is the Allegro database, this is the original Eagle database. Then if you want to, you can specify a new version of the board file I'm going to put like a R1 here because this is going to take the netlist and load it into the design. If you don't want to overwrite your original one, you can create another version of it after the new netlist gets loaded in. Go ahead and hit OK. Once that process is complete, the netlist has been loaded into board and then now you may want to take a look at any situations that may have occurred from the translation. For example, you may have a few unrouted nets or unrouted connections. Any translation may not be 100% perfect. This may just be because some traces need to be rerouted or things didn't line up perfectly on grid. But generally speaking, the translation should be 98% or better, but you're never gonna to wanna to go straight to fabrication with translation. You're always gonna to wanna to look at it and do a sanity check to make sure everything came over. 